Hey everybody, this is Zachary and welcome to my workshop. Today I'm out here working on my goshawk trap. If you remember uh, back a few days ago, I posted uh, a picture of a Cooper's hawk I caught in the in the uh, prototype goshawk trap, which I called it, and the bird escaped when I went to get gloves. So that was kind of a bummer. But anyways, um, you know, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep it. You know, I wasn't I wasn't sure what I'm doing here. I had a lot of people on the internet request plans for this trap, which I have no problem doing. It's, um, it's something that I found on the internet that somebody had built as well, I, so I just sort of copied it. But I was on a budget. I just picked up uh, stuff that I had on my property and pretty much only got a few bucks in it. Not too bad at all. But I'll show you the basic concept. So underneath I just got a cage, just a cage to hold pigeons little door over here which I think I can make that improve on that a little bit. The outside here, this tubing here was just attached to the cage. It's just a uh, PEX water line. That's all that is. And then I got for the hoops, I've decided just to use plastic water line. So across the bottom is just uh, a road sign um, bar that sticks in the ground. I just sort of modified that. For the hinging I just took a couple door hinges here, if you can see that, I hopefully you can. My trigger device I built here, hope you can see this okay. It's just the basically works like a foothold trap. So this trap is set. It's just a, a bar going over the two pipes to hold them down and the bird will just come and land on this. Actually it's adjustable. So if I have big birds that I'm looking to trap, I can Kind of set it like this, but if I want to fine tune it a little bit, I could stick that like right out here on the end and and who knows what I could catch with it when they land on that. So that works out well. So here I'll just set it off for you. So I put some counterweights down here, help with the spring action on both sides. Just some heavy angle iron. But then I decided to attach a spring as well, you know, right to the angle iron, which um, seemed to really give it the snap I need. All right, so I'm just going to be attaching the netting to the hoops around here, and it should work out okay. Now this uh, hoops, you know, you could bend some nice aluminum around there, and it probably would work maybe better. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and attach uh, the rest of the netting to the, um, to the hoop. We'll take it from there, and hopefully we'll have a good working trap. So I'll catch you in a little bit. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Zachary back. So I got all the netting on and I had set the trap a few times just to see how it was going to work and and I just noticed that one side of the trap, uh, part of the bow was uh, sticking extremely up in the air um, compared to the other side and it really was because I had the springs on either side of the trap and and I had the trigger just of course on one side of the trap which was causing it to pull on this side which was making it flex way up in the air just about like this and then go down. So did some brainstorming and just decided to eliminate this whole um, spring off this side completely and, and relocate it over here next to the other spring for this side. And that seemed to work out really well. It just uh, eliminated the, the extreme warping or flexing of the, of the trap. And both of them here you can see now I got a crisscross sort of set up you know, here, on springs going like that, going to this bar here, and then going over to this bar here. So it just crosses, attached to the bottom. So this trap is uh, all set. I got the new netting on. I'm really happy with the new netting. And I guess I just need to test it out. I'll throw something in there and see what y'all think. So she snaps up there pretty good shape. Pretty, it's pretty good. So I think it's gonna work well. So I'm just gonna take it outside and get some pigeons in it and we'll just put it to the true test. 
Hey, if you guys like my channel, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until the next time.